Hello viewers. Hello knowledge seekers. This is Shoman from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. In parallel with the pipeline processes and varieties quality topics, I am thinking start an interview question answer series. Some questions collected and some questions uh, from my experience. I will make several videos for different streams of our quality control like piping, instrumentation, mechanical, welding. Today I am starting with piping and instrumentation questions, 10 to 15 questions in a short video and it will be a series. Let us start. What are the instrument categories? General, flow, temperature, pressure, level and density. There are more also, but this answer will be sufficient. Which instruments are handled by piping department? Flame arrester, breather valve, etc. What are basic functions of instrument? To sense, to transmit, indicate, to read and to control. Why block valve is used at the root of an instrument like pressure indicator? You can see in the photo. The answer is they are needed to isolate gauges for maintenance during plant operation and during hydrostatic testing of piping system. They are called root valve. Where diaphragm assembly is used? For corrosive, abrasive, viscous fluid. Neutral fluid like glycol used on the instrument side of the diaphragm. Where and why bleed valve are used in the instrument? The photo is for a bleed valve. If the conveyed fluid is hazardous or under high pressure, a branch fitted with a bleed valve is inserted between the gauge and its isolating valve to relieve pressure and or drain the liquid before servicing the gauge. It can also be used to sample or for adding a comparison gauge. Why control valves are usually flanged? For ease of installation and removal during maintenance. Where ball control valve is used? Ball control valve are suitable where nature of fluid is slurry form or handling two phase flow having particle in suspension and for non-critical and critical fluids having a fluid temperature to suit the soft sheet material and where relatively low pressure drop is required across the control valve. They have side mounted actuator. Where butterfly control valve is used? Butterfly control valve is used for large size piping network handling clean fluid for low pressure drop across control valve and soft seated control valve. Metal seated valves used for higher temperatures. How control valve and block valve should be located? They should be as close to control valve as possible considering drain requirement and hand wheel clearance. At least one of the block valve should be placed in vertical so that the spool can be removed allowing the control valve to be removed. How TSO valve should be installed? TSO valve is tight shut off valve or a reduced port valve. This is a control valve should be installed in vertical for gas service and horizontal for liquid service. How bypass valve in control station should be located? Near inlet branch point, not above control valve with 200 mm clearance between actuator and valve. How control station should be supported? It should be supported such that control station piping is self-supporting even if the control valve is removed normally on exit side of elbows of bottom run of control valve. Why and where drain should be located in control valve assembly? Drain is used to drain the piping between two block valves and two sides of the control valve before removing control valve for maintenance. It must be located at lowest point of bottom run. One drain is used if control valve fails open 
two drains are used if control valve fails close. As both sides are blocked in this case, for one drain, it should be upstream side of the control valve. Where reducers shall be located in control valve assembly? As close as possible to the control valve, preferably directly welded control valve flanges. How breakup flanges for control valve should be located? One vertical and one horizontal which is achieved by having one block valve in vertical leg of the control valve inlet. Do not place support on inlet elbow. Where are the types of flow measuring devices? Orifice plate, variable area flow meter that is rotameter, magnetic flow meter, turbine flow meter, positive displacement meter. What is the piping and instrumentation scope of supply for orifice meter? Piping provided gaskets and bolts and tapping from orifice plate to two block valves. Instrument provides orifice plate and flange assembly and connection downstream of the ball valve. How orifice flange taps should be oriented? For liquid and steam, it should be oriented horizontal or 45 degree down from the horizontal on both sides. For gas and vapor lines, it should be vertical or 45 degree to vertical on both sides. Taps are 0.5 inch. What are straight run requirements of orifice plate? Inlet straight run requirement can be 15D to 20D and outlet straight run requirements 5D minimum. It depends on the piping configuration and D to D ratio that is ratio of inside diameter of orifice plate and inside diameter of the pipe. It should be confirmed with instrument engineer in instrument specification sheet that is ISS for the project. What are the straight run requirements for vortex meter? 5D upstream. Hey guys, end of the video. This is part 1. Be with me, part two follows. Signing off, show me.